bringing new solar arrays to the International Space Station. We've said it right from the start, right from the day one of Inspiration4, you know, that we aim to inspire people as to what's possible in space, sure, but also what can be accomplished here on Earth. It's why, you know, St. Jude, you know, Children's Research Hospital is such an important part of our mission. Uh, it's why we went about selecting crew members in the way that we did, so that, you know, we're joined by Chris and Haley and, and Dr. Proctor, who all have very inspiring stories in their own right, all to a unique audience, right? There are so many elements about our, our story that I think make a difference. I think there's a lot of points to our mission and a big one is to inspire people to push boundaries and we're pushing boundaries in a lot of different ways um, the 200 million dollar fundraising effort for st jude is the largest fundraising effort um, that st jude has ever seen and that money is going to go to cancer research and to helping kids and um and to fund treatment but also um our mission is pushing you know we're going to have so many firsts with our mission um, and I think it's just going to inspire people to um, kind of no matter their background to um, to dream and to not limit themselves. We want to make sure that whatever we're doing on our mission um, helps answer some of those questions of, well, if you don't have to be physically perfect, well, what can we do to support more people um, of all kinds of backgrounds and all kinds of different um, characteristics to be able to enjoy space, to be able to go up. And I think that's a big part of what this mission is. I mean, if we can help uh, St. Jude reach its goal of eliminating childhood disease, um, that's a great part of it for solving for Earth. And at the same time, we're gonna help uh, solve for space so we can all dream big. Stage one propulsion is nominal.